everybody. Another beautiful day in Northern California as we're getting our wonderful trailer up and ready to rumble um, once this COVID-19 is done. And one of the things that we're gonna be doing is when I take her on the road, I love to have like fresh herbs. So I created a little indoor herb garden. Um, I used a Dollar Tree container and then I got the sticky foam feet. So they're these like sticky felt feet actually. And I put two of them on one on top of the other and stuck them together to give a little rise off the bottom of the bin so that air can get underneath here. And that way when it's sitting on the counter in the RV, we don't have moisture build up underneath. And of course, you know, I could have grown them from seed, but I decided to just go to the nursery and uh, do a little economic stimulus and um, buy some of them. So we have some oregano, we have some basil, we have mint, we have peppermint or pineapple mint in here. And uh, I've always leave the little stakes in there so I can remember what everything is. And this is something that I can put inside the trailer and I can leave it on the counter. I can take it out when we get where we're going and put it in the middle of a picnic table, that th kind of thing to get her out in the sun. Um, but put it right next to the sink. A lot of the time sun comes through the window, you know, gives it enough sun to keep it up and going. Um, but it's great because it's easy to grab the handles on the side and just move it wherever I want. Um, one of the other things we had done a lot at home was we put plants in what we called our bucket garden. And we got these wonderful food grade buckets from a local um, manufacturer that makes food products and this is what they get spices in. I think you can also get food grade buckets on Amazon, that kind of thing to, to do this because you want to definitely have food grade buckets because they're BPA free, that kind of thing. You could look at Lowe's and Home Depot. I know that they have buckets. I just don't know if they have the food grade ones. So you'd have to ask. Um, and then what you do is you take and you take the buckets and before you put anything in them you drill a couple of holes in them on either side about an inch or so up and that's the drain to drain out when you water them and then fill them full of really good um, potting soil now you want to make sure you get the kind that's designed for containers um, it'll say right on the side that it's container friendly that kind of thing you don't want to get garden soil um, because it will actually um, do damage because the pots can get really hot with the wrong types of soil and it'll burn the roots of your plants and kill them off. So you want to make sure you get the kind that's designed for pots and that kind of thing. And then you can just start growing. These are peppers. You can start growing all sorts of different things. We do peppers. We do a variety of peppers. So we do bell and hot peppers and we do herbs and we do tomatoes. We do all sorts of stuff in the buckets. And the best part is, is that when we're traveling, what I'm gonna do is a day or two before we move from one location to the next, is we just won't water the buckets for a day or two. And that'll make them lighter, have less water issues. But then what we're also gonna do is we're gonna take the white uh, garbage bags that have the cinch sack handles kind of thing. And when we get ready to move, we'll pick the buckets up Put the bag up around the bottom and cinch it around the top so that we don't have any water or dirt get into the trailer. And then we have a moving blanket that we'll put down on the floor in the trailer. We'll put all the buckets together and then we have a strap that we'll put around them so that it creates a larger footprint. That way they won't tip over when we're traveling. And then when we get to the new location, we can just uncouple them and bring them out and put them out in the sun and we have Instagarden. And it's so great to get up in the morning, water the garden, come out, um, pick some tomatoes, some peppers, things like that, that you can cook with and have them right by your door. And done right, these will last months and months as long as you keep them up and going. And keep keep watering them, make sure they get fertilizer because they are in a bucket so that it doesn't really have the ability to um, get nutrients um, from other around the soil that's right around the plant, obviously, because it's in a bucket. So we do um, get these that have the, a lot of the times the professional um, grade soil, or we do the miracle Go grow mo moisture control that also feeds for up to six months, but then we do put in additional fertilizer to keep them going. And it's great, it's very economical, it's also fun. Um, and then you know what's gone on your food because you grew it yourself. So we can do, you know, probably six to eight of these in the trailer easily. 
and then we'll just, when we get there, we'll just put them down along the side of the trailer and that way we'll have our little garden right, right outside our door. So um, we can do indoor, you can do outdoor, um, but you can actually have a transportable garden. You could also put these, if you don't wanna put them in the RV, if you're towing, like we have a trailer, if you're towing with the truck, you could also put them in the, in the you know, flip up the back seats. If you have a crew cab, flip those up, put them in the back, or take a big leaf bag and cover the whole thing and put it in the back of the truck. That way you don't blow the branches off and break them, but you could do that as well until you get to the next location. So lots of different options to have your own transportable garden and you don't have to not garden because you are living full time in a trailer um, or an RV. Um, there is an option for you guys to have your own garden.